TV. Well, we've been sharing a really extraordinary story this morning. In the next decade, humans might have a permanent home on the moon, and a local company is helping make that happen. Now, you might remember the old buggies that the astronauts and the crews used in the 1970s on the moon. Well, NASA is relying on Torvec, a company based in Webster, to help them build a new rover that will uh, be to the moon what perhaps what the Model T Ford was to Earth. If it's hard to envision, one man helped everyone see the futures. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. If NASA is going to take a new giant leap for mankind, their astronauts will rely on a new moon rover, part of which is being designed by Andy Gleesman and the team at Torvec. Gleesman has not tried to hide the importance of this project to the Webster company. We cannot fail on this, and we, can, we, we have no fear of failing. But before the rover becomes reality, someone had to create a vision. Torvec hired one of their own shareholders, Bob Clark, to create a computer rendering. This is what NASA scientists are looking at this week as they inspect Torvec's plans for a purely electric rover. Clark wanted his drawing to look as realistic as possible. Hopefully it conveys a feeling that this is, uh, you know, you're 20 feet from the rover as it comes up over a hill and that this is the first mission they've just landed. If NASA succeeds, the first mission seen in this drawing will actually happen in 2015 and astronauts will use the Torvec design to travel across the lunar surface. It's a huge leap from the original buggies that Neil Armstrong used on the moon back in 1969. The new rover would carry four astronauts standing up, and NASA hopes it will be the main vehicle involved when the United States eventually colonizes the moon. Clark says Rochester should be proud that Torvec is helping in the new space race. Well, you know, to be frank, uh, I often catch myself saying, there's got to be something. This has to be goofy. There's got to be something I'm missing here. This is too good to be true. And every time I think that, uh, they do something that actually works. Chief Technical Officer Keith Gleesman says Torvec is just as amazed with Clark's work. This is the most astounding thing. I cannot wait to see uh, what NASA's uh, response will be on this. Uh, this. For them to be able to do this would be quite expensive and very complex for them to have to describe to an artist. Bob has a unique uh, sense of mechanical awareness. The Latin phrase on the patch that Torvec proudly displays in their Webster facility means chariot of the moon, a bold description of the new moon rover. Torvec met NASA's deadline for shipping the transmission. We caught a look just before they sent it to Houston last week. The designers now hope that NASA will approve and they can move ahead with plans to plant a new U.S. flag on the lunar surface. You say, okay, will there be an opportunity in my lifetime to relive that great technological achievement they had in the 60s? And yes, now we have it. We have a brand new, uh, even more ambitious plan than we had in the 60s and a much shorter timeline to do it in. And for the sake of accuracy, those moon rovers you saw there in the video, not Neil Armstrong, those were other ast astronauts and crews in the 1970s. No human has been on the moon for about three decades, and uh, NASA declined to comment for our story, but uh, we know they have the designs now from Torvec, and we will keep you updated as to the progress there. We